sure these are odd things. They can evoke laughter, but they can just as well piss people off since they might make fun of something that's all there. And some individuals are just too sour to enjoy a good laugh in general. Frankly, I rather enjoy silly stuff like Spaceballs, so when I heard about the book of unwritten tales with its Lich King inspired trailer, I got really interested. Now that I have had the chance to play through this point and click adventure game from the small German developer King Art, I can tell you that I'm very impressed with the game and that I haven't had so much fun with the game in a good while. The biggest accomplishment of this game is that it's written so well. The story itself isn't even all that great. There's a big war going on between the Alliance and the Shadow Army and there is an artifact of great power that can decide its outcome. You guide along three unlikely heroes and a couple of pets, with the eventual goal of keeping this artifact out of the clutches of evil. Artifact? It? This is getting more and more cliché. Cliché? The struggle of good against evil is never cliché. So yeah, pretty cliché. But it's the way the story is told that makes it really work. The characters are believable, likeable and overall just a lot of fun to interact with. This is also helped by the top notch voice acting in the game, which was a very pleasant surprise. The translation from German to English is handled very well and the British actors did an amazing job easily delivering better voices for this budget title than many supposedly A grade games out there. As you have probably already got it by now, this game is not to be taken seriously and is one gigantic spoof of pretty much anything fantasy related. The biggest franchise to function as a model for this satire is World of Warcraft. The whole world is pretty much a comical absurd version of Azeroth and there are plenty of occasions where they make fun of the absurdities of that particular game or MMORPGs in general. But it doesn't stop there, the game will offer you many outlandish situations that can be quite funny. For example the adventurous but inexperienced and naive gnome Wilbur will encounter Death who is very depressed because, well... This is a damn point and click adventure. No one dies. In any other reasonable role playing game, you have to kill a hundred rats to reach the second level. Now that's a real game. Yeah, and that's the kind of humor you can expect in this game. Once the credits roll, there will be nothing but dust left of the fourth wall, and you'll have heard many subtle, and sometimes not so subtle, references to your favorite fantasy works. From books to movies to video games and everything in between, all pop culture is covered here and for the most part in a funny way. This does however mean that some situations get predictable and some things might seem a bit too familiar. Some gags are pretty much lifted directly from other games and you really need to be in the right mindset to fully enjoy a string of this kind of humor. Also don't expect a big challenge, the game is really easy. Most solutions are fairly obvious and usually the try everything on everything tactic works well enough. It's even made easier for you since if an item cannot be used with another object, the game simply won't let you. You can also easily highlight all interactive objects on the screen by holding down the spacebar. So this takes away a lot of the challenge and trial and error we've come to expect from the genre, which can be both a good and a bad thing depending on how you personally look at it. The game does feature a couple of instances where some more interactivity is required. For example, at one point you'll need to brew a potion and another time you'll be dancing a rain dance. But these instances are far and few between. They do serve as a nice change of pace when they come up though. The game also tries to be different by having you control multiple characters at once. In a couple of instances you can switch between characters and you'll need to use their specific skills or trade some items. But the game never fully explores the possibilities of this concept and I was left with the feeling that they could have easily come up with some more really fun puzzles with these mechanics. What it all comes down to is that this game just isn't here to challenge you with a tough game. It's here to entertain you and it certainly did just that for me. Rarely can a game make me laugh out loud but this one managed it and at multiple occasions at that. It's also a fairly long game consisting of 5 big chapters. The sudden ending still came as a total surprise though, it just comes out of the left field and is not satisfying at all and I was actually expecting it to be a joke in itself too. But alas, despite its length, the game still ends too abruptly. Still, the journey towards that lackluster ending was a very enjoyable one and the game made me pretty nostalgic about a lot of old classic fantasy works. Not only through its many references, but also by its pure quality in presentation and writing. It's been so long since I've seen a point and click adventure of this caliber 
and I can't recommend this game enough. It is awesome and an absolute must buy for any adventure or fantasy fan out there. Unless you're one of those sour puzzles and unlock parodies. In that case, I guess you'd best stay clear of this one. It is a chair. Honest. Okay, whatever. It's a horse. A beautiful big white horse. <laughs>